7.3 number nine, uh, it's still a cross section problem. I think it's gonna be a little different though because we're, we're gonna integrate with respect to y. So it says the solid lies between planes perpendicular to the y axis at y equals zero and y equals two. So y equals zero and y equals two. The cross sections perpendicular to the y axis are circular disks what diameter is running from the y-axis to the parabola x equals the square root of 5 y squared. So the square root of 5 really isn't going to impact the shape that much of it. It just is how much it's stretched. But if it was just x equals y squared, that's, think of that as y equals plus or minus the square root of x. So it's a sideways parabola. It looks like this. So that's x equals y squared. And our for our purposes, we're going to say x, that's x equals the square root of 5y squared. Okay, so we're trying to figure out uh, that, well, the areas between the y-axis and this from y equals 0 to 2. So, oops, that's not very straight. Here's the area of the base. Looks like that. This is y equals 2. And then the cross sections are perpendicular to the y-axis, circular disks with diameters running from the y-axis to the parabola. Okay. So there's a diameter of my circle, and it's coming out of the paper, and it looks like that. Okay, so we need to integrate dy from 0 to 2. We know it's y because if you look at all the diameters, they're looking like this. It's in increments moving in the y, along the y-axis. Um, the cross-section diameter is perpendicular to the y-axis. We're get integrated with respect to y. All right, so now we have to figure out how to represent that circle with an, uh, as a function of y. So we know that the area is pi r squared. And our radius is just half of this. So it's pi times this distance is x, which is the square root of 5y squared. That's what this distance is. That's x, which is the square root of 5y squared. So half of that would be our radius. So it's pi times the square root of 5 over 2y squared is what your radius would be. So pi r squared. And we'd integrate it from 0 to 2. And there's our integral. We could simplify that a little bit. Square root of 5 squared is 5. So, I don't know, 5 pi over 4 integral of y to the 4th dy would be a pretty simplified version of it.